Assalamu alaikum. In this uh, zipline tutorial series, we are going to make a zipline like you are showing with the animation and it will work only when you uh, move inside the uh, collision box and uh, press any interactive button, let's say uh, Z in our case. It will work only and only. If you are outside the box, it will not work even if you press Z multiple times. But if you are inside the collision box, then and only then and uh, the zip line mechanics will work along with the animation and also you can increase and decrease the length of a uh, zip line as much as you want so it's uh, it's on you how much length you want the cable and the spline will move along that and let's say if you and uh, let's say now for any length it will work fine so we are making uh, we made we are going to make that zip line by using cable and subline so let's start our tutorial let's start our zipline tutorial first of all i have this third person character and you can get uh, when you create a, a new project with third person template so it's just a simple third person template uh, third person character sorry so okay now so first of all, for in order to make a zip line, we need a actor. So there are really different and uh, many many ways to create a, a zip line. So my focus is to create a very easy way, uh, easy and the quickest way to make a zip line, functional zip line. So for that we need a actor. DP. This will be our uh, actual zip line actor. DP and zip line. So inside of it, uh, we will uh, create uh, two ends for our zip line. So we are going to do this uh, by using cable and zip line, but really in a very easy way. So it's not going to be a very long tutorial. So first of all, static mesh with cube. I'm just taking it as a placeholder. Uh, you can uh, use any other static mesh and let's say uh, S M N A and let's duplicate it and call it and D and move it a bit here so now we're going to add cable zip line and uh, let's uh, move it up here sorry I did it wrong so for that you have to uh, move from here okay okay let's it's good and let's yep it's fine and now and from and their cable length you can increase and decrease the uh, uh, stiffness and the flexibility and if you want to see a detailed tutorial about the cable actor uh, it is in my uh, cable playlist and also in my grapple hook playlist and also in my Unreal Engine Game Mechanics playlist. So same tutorial is in three playlists and I will put a link in the description so you can understand the cable actor and its properties easily. And the second thing we need is uh, Supplying. Simple Supplying. Okay. And let's move it. Let's move it a bit up so we can see from that end simply drag it to that end now it's fine and now we have our uh, that okay perfect so what we are going to do this cable is 
and just for the showcase and we will apply actual logic on the spline and after our character will follow that spline when we want to move our character on a zip line so for that uh, first of all let's create a timeline uh, timeline uh, and zip line so we are going to make a flow track here at flow track okay. with a time of 2 seconds and you can increase or decrease it um, as you want so 2 and 1 value here ok now we have our zip line so before that uh, we know that uh, the character which we want to move on zip line is bptpc zip line this is our uh, character this is so uh, in order to move that character in our bp zip line actor on through the spline we need a reference of that or mean our character in there for that cos to bp uh, zip line sorry cos to uh, bp tpc uh, and zip line you get now we have our zip line correct perfect now uh, we will uh, set the world set actor transform so we are going to set our uh, character location and rotation uh, um, with respect to spline so it will move uh, from that start end to that end ok so we need to get a zip line and we also need a lure flow get the line then so it will um, so we know the lur lur uh, outputs a value from a to b depends on the alpha so as our alpha uh, alpha or alpha moves from 0 to 1 uh, we will get a length uh, of, we will get a actual uh, length or point on the spline as we are moving of, uh, from the point A and from point A to point B so we will know actually where are we right now at what length from the beginning get distance to get location at distance here and in the same way we will get get uh, rotation at distance now we are going to plug in plug it in here and that in here and let's make it to world so now you understand and why we use the lerp so it will give the distance or length from the point A from the beginning to the point A as our timeline increasing from 0 to 1 and uh, as our distance increasing we will get the actual location on the spline and rotation so our character can uh, set our character can move on the spline 
and adjust its rotation accordingly. So this is okay. So this is our character. So now uh, from the event now we have to first test a uh, test that our current logic is working fine or not. For that we have to connect here. So event begin play. We are getting a reference of our third person character, and then we are uh, starting our timeline from the beginning. And it's uh, going to uh, move and get the length of our spline as we are moving from point A to B. And as we are getting distance from the uh, distance of spline from the point A, origin point A, we will get the actual distance in uh, rotation along the spline and we will set the location and rotation of our character accordingly so let's see and uh, let's uh, i want to give a little delay here so we can see and uh, let's see so in so that this logic will work after two seconds after we start our game let's see is it working or not okay for so the, for now we have to place our zipline here so we can increase or decrease and the size as we want, but for now, let's try. And as you see, after two seconds, our character moves on supply. So let's see it once again. Yes, it's working perfectly fine. Now uh, we will uh, have a little problem here. This is. What if uh, we want to increase the distance between these two poles? So in the game world, we have to uh, use a zipline of different heights and distances. So let's say if I move that the end B away, more away, you can see that our cable and spline is not moving along with them. So we have to do it manually every time and that is what we don't want we want it to be automatic so they move along with the NP so for that we have to make and uh, we have to connect that cable with uh, NP or pole B and also supply with the uh, pole B so both of these two things move along with the uh, our NP for that for this for the cable end there is an option attach end and we can attach the uh, end or that end to any anything uh, any component which we want so for that if we want to attach that end to this one we need to copy the name and then we have to attach end to component name paste it here and when we see you can see uh, it goes up like that because we need to uh, make the end location 0 and Z also 0. Now you can see it is perfectly attached at the origin of the uh, static mesh, this static mesh. So wherever you are the origin, it will attach there. So for this uh, cube, our origin at, is at this point in the center. So we can move it by adjusting the Z location now it's working fine so now if you see if i move that uh, nb you can see our cable is move moving along with it so now we have to do the same thing with the supply for that we have to select our supply and that uh, go to supply and we have to check mark this input supply points to construction script and then uh, we will select that this the end point now we have the input key one uh, with the location of 681 you will notice that our location is 700 and the supply end point is location which is approximately very near it means we have to move that point along with our end B to do this we have to do a little logic in the construction script uh, let's bring its spline here 
set a location at supply point and we know as we know uh, we want to move that point and this is the one here so we will put one here and we will get a NB get relative location and we will plug it in here now by that now you see is it working fine so if I move that you can see our spline is spline and cable are both pulling the distance of pole B from our pole A now now if we want to do it in our map we can do it easily so let's say I want to move so uh, so to make it work so you understand and the basic concept how we increase the supply with this so we have to copy the code simply and okay I made a little change here just simply copy the code and we will make a custom event here Now, whenever a uh, game starts, uh, according uh, to this concept, uh, it will automatically update the uh, supply point. So, let's say if I move uh, this point far away, okay, our cable is at this point. Visually, this spline is at this point, but if I, now you can see it's going fine till the end. I, if even I want to increase it further it will still work fine from that end to the very next end so you have to copy the construction script uh, to the uh, construction script to the event graph on and plug it into the event begin play so it will uh, when we start the game it will update the spline length according to the distance between these two poles or static machine whatever you have so i think that's it for this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial uh, our character will only uh, be able to use zip line when he gets very near to the uh, pole a and then he press uh, interact interaction button and then he will be able to uh, use supply and then he will reach to the very next end so till then Allah Hafiz